So today guys I bring you 5 amazing epic heavy launchers you should be considering and maybe keeping an eye out for. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. So in reality the 5 launchers in question today are in no particular order in regards to which is most efficient. I have however ordered them in power output but again guys this doesn't mean that one in that number one slot is the best here. So let's get into it guys and starting with the freeway. Now this Torg launcher is one I've kept for a while in my bank waiting to test it. When I did I was surprised actually how good this thing is. My variance damage output isn't the best by a mile but don't let that put you off. This is still quite a monster. So its total damage output here is 6897. My anointment though doubles that up. This launcher also offers two firing modes but the one I actually prefer is definitely the sticky mode where you just spam them at enemies then watch them mount upon reloading or switching weapons. This also makes for a great method in crit swapping if that's what you look out for in weapons like these. Stick those targets, switch to that Unforgiven and watch them just turn into dust. Now the other firing mode is impact and although it's obviously more efficient in terms of laying down that damage instantly and it's better against hordes of mobs with this thing's quite capable of splash damage, I still feel damage output wise the sticky mode delivers more. But yeah guys first up on my list is the Torg Freeway. <laughs> Okay so next up guys we have the Thread. This Vladar for launcher is actually quite a powerhouse with this variant's damage output being 11,080. Again this doubles up due to my anointment. Actually people instead of me saying that with all these launchers I may as well say now that all of the launchers featured today have this anointment on them. This is the one I look out for being a Zane main. So this Vered also offers two firing modes. The standard launcher mode where it fires and consumes two ammo per shot. And then we have the big boy rocket which deals way more damage but can be used less often but deals almost double the damage and only consumes one ammo per shot. Now this launcher unlike the first I covered I feel is much better against single target enemies. I mean for sure yes with its 400 plus splash damage it's decent against mobs but within its better firing mode where it's more efficient damage output wise this is where it comes into its true form. <laughs> Okay so we're going to move on and next on the list we have the Zooka. And yes people this is a COV launcher. Who would have thought a COV weapon would make anyone's top 5? Well this one has and it's for good reason. So this one damage output wise offers 13,538 which is crazy when you consider how fast this thing can actually pop off. Which makes it probably the best in terms of actual DPS on this list of 5. This one having one firing mode also but that firing mode is just spam. And yes it does need to cool down, basically like a reload, but that cooldown isn't apparent sometimes until you have let off 10 shots with this thing and how quick you can get them off is actually amazing. Now this CLV Zooka comes into its own like I said in terms of DPS, whether that is against a single target enemy or against a group. Only issue with this is the fact it runs out of ammo way too quickly when used like this, which is a shame. But again it will still deal as much damage if not more damage than previous launcher covered in this video in a much less time which means there is purpose for this in this game. Want to kill something quick? This is your answer. Okay so next up guys we have another Torg launcher, this one called the Lump. Now the Lump is a well known launcher to many who used it back in the day to crit swap 
which I will state works amazingly still to this day. But even without that crit swap in this thing's damage output is kind of crazy. With its 8616 times 2 output which equals out to 17232, this is one of the most powerful epic launchers in the game. Now there are many variants to this as I do myself have a few. All are powerful though, some 2 times variants, some not. Some like this one eat 6 ammo per shot, others don't. And as you can imagine, 6 ammo per shot means you won't get many shots out of this thing. But what this does do is act like the lob in terms of the way it shoots those orbs, those slow firing projectiles. And because they move kind of slow, crit swapping has never been easier. It really hasn't. But yeah guys, this alien tech Torg launcher is and always will be one remembered for the part it played in making that grave ward farm so very easy. Nowadays crit swapping isn't really needed but even so that doesn't mean this thing is out of the question. Its single target damage is still incredible but it is kind of let down by the amount of ammo it does indeed consume when you get one this powerful. Okay so lastly guys we have the pattern black. An atlas launcher capable of crazy things we only normally see on legendaries. So firstly we can see this thing does 3064 times 6 which equals out to being 18384 which is by far the most powerful launcher covered today and probably the most powerful I've seen in the game so far. It also has two firing modes. Well actually one firing mode, the other is a tracker puck which allows this thing to home in on that target no matter where they run to and using its two modes together equal out in this being an absolute monster of a weapon. And yes guys, you've probably figured what this basically is, it's an epic variant of the Ruby's Wrath. And though it isn't quite as powerful due to Ruby's recent receiving a buff, it's still a great, super powerful weapon for sure. And if you can't get your hands on the Rubies with that anointment you are after, and do come across this, you won't in reality notice too much of a difference damage output wise. Now this pattern black I've been looking for for such a long time now, it's crazy. I logged in two days back, went to Crazy Ill's vending machine, the Iridium vending machine and voila, here it was. Crazy people. And like this pattern black, all weapons covered today are world drops so yes, there isn't any particular spot to actually farm them more efficiently. The efficiency in reality comes from the faster the loot drops, the more likely you'll get this. So Freddy level 2 farms pretty good, uh, the Solar Shafts pretty good and vending machines, weapon vending machines are pretty good too. So yes guys, if there's any weapon on this list you are interested in, that's how you basically get them. They are quite rare, not gonna lie, the lump I've only seen a couple of. The pattern black, I mean I've seen one the one I want, but I have seen many rare variants of that too, as well as the lump. But getting that perfect rolled one will be pretty rare, so just keep your eyes peeled people. And on that note we have come to the end of the video, those were 5 epic launchers you should definitely be keeping an eye out for. If you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.